good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Dima, church music! The black church, for many of us, is something that we hold dear to our hearts. Even if we don't really go to it today, that's where many of us grew up in our local neighborhoods. We have friends and family there, and it's a bunch of good times. Remember the Easter egg hunts, the Wednesday night Bible studies, the vacation Bible schools. All of those are memories that made our childhood really fun and really amazing for those involved. But stop the show. There's also a dark side of the black church. Rewind, Emma. Now, in the black church, pastors have a lot of power and a lot of influence in the communities. And some use their powers for good. Others, well, they do not. Remember this story I covered a few months ago about this Mississippi pastor who had a wife. He was married. His pregnant girlfriend burst into the church and exposed the fact that he was booty clapping sounds, <laughs> clapping her cheeks. Then he had the nerve to have this to say. Let me tell you what happened. Y'all, let me tell y'all what happened. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all what happened. Do y'all remember? Do, do, no, he can't go to the bottom. We'll be in court. We'll be in court. We'll be in court. We'll be in court. The period of my law, it didn't say the moderator, they said the chairman of the Dickey board would do it. He can't appoint nobody to do the job. He can't appoint nobody. We'll be in court. You can get the police to get me out, we just go to court. So, no, 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 you're not, I'm not getting police to ask me to move. I'm the pastor, I'm the pastor, I'm the pastor, I'm the pastor. That's right, I'm the pastor. You can't put me out. Can I get a game over sound effect? They ended up putting his ass out like two weeks later. Then, on another story I did a few months ago, there's this guy, Damian Massey, who, instead of clapping cheeks with one of his female members, he decided to bend one of his male members over and booty clapping sounds! <laughs> and then decided to videotape it. Then once that video went all over the black internet, he had this to say. I came on to be transparent, and as simple as this, I messed up um this has been a really really hard few days but i struggled and the struggle didn't just begin you know the struggle has been a struggle and um the conviction has been great and many times people don't know how to accept the struggle of a leader or the struggle of the pastor you know and they take the the human and the man out of the pastor, out of the bishop, out of the apostle, out of the prophet. I didn't address what should have been addressed in my life. You all seen it. I don't have to recap it. You know, you seen the video. You know, but other people will paint a picture of you to be the worst person in the world because of a failure. I want to take my responsibility. That's my public statement. I want to take my responsibility and I want to repent for God, for God, for God, for God. Yeah, he's sorry. Sorry he got caught because he was preaching the next Sunday after he clapped those dudes' cheeks. But then again, there's a story of what's going on at the New Generation Church, where there is a love affair going on, but not with the church's leader, Pastor Eric Andrews. Nope, it got something to do with somebody related to Eric Andrews, his son, Denzel Branch, who's the pastor's son. So wait a minute, I know what they're thinking. Did the pastor's son clap the cheeks of the pastor's wife? No, that would mean that he was <laughs> clapping his own mom's cheeks. Booty clapping sounds! <laughs> but that brings us to the story of Mr. Denzel Branch, a youth minister at the church. He had just got through preaching maybe a few Sundays before, you know, an altercation happened. But I believe this news clip could tell the story. The mother of that youth pastor shot and killed after his church service here on Easter Sunday sat down and talked to us not only about how his life ended, but also what's next for her family and the church family. Minister Denzel Branch. This is youth pastor Denzel Branch being introduced at church this past Good Friday. The 31-year-old served as a minister at New Generation Church in South Dallas. It's also where, just two days later, on Easter Sunday, his mother Shayla Wilcox learned he was shot and killed. I remember having the feeling of being so dizzy at first, and then I just screamed out, 
that I trusted God. And that's him. The grieving mother shared these photos of her son, a father to five kids. Here, he's with the boys. Dallas police say after Easter service outside New Generation Church, Branch punched his ex-wife's boyfriend, Joshua Andrews, through an open car door window. The fight escalated, and police say Andrews got out of the car and shot Branch several times. He preached his last service on Friday. His mother now leans on her faith and memories of her son's dedication to his church. Today shall not be with me. He sang with the choir. He's also part of the ministry and the pool pit team and the prayer warriors. I mean, he was just involved in everything. It's always bubbly. Dallas police say Andrew surrendered and confessed. Shaler Wilcox shared this message about her son's accused killer. Even with him, I continue to keep him in my prayers because they're still children. They're still somebody's baby. In Dallas, yeah. I'm Scoop Jefferson. What the news clip isn't telling you is that Mr. Denzel Branch was killed and shot. Gunshots! <laughs> by Mr. Eric Andrews, the pastor's son. Why? Because while Mr. Denzel Branch was a youth pastor at the church, Mr. Eric Andrews was booty clapping sounds <laughs> sleeping with his wife. That's right. This guy, a youth minister, was getting his wife pounded out. So after church one day, you know, that particular day, he ended up punching the guy for pretty much taking his wife, probably because his wife is still going to the church. That's when Mr. Eric Andrews gunshot shot Minister Denzel Branch. Here's what I want to know. Why was he even at that church where he could even confront the pastor's son, Joshua Bell or Joshua Andrews? Why didn't he leave that church? Why didn't he go to another church? Okay. Even if he was cool with the pastor, your son is sleeping with my wife and now my kids and I'm getting a divorce. They are now dealing with your son. Why are you there even at that church? I just don't understand that. But that's how cold the game is. And again, we have another black man and two black men are going to lose their lives over a woman. And this time it wasn't on the streets. You got a pastor's son and a youth minister who wants to be a pastor fighting over a 304, right? Because no wife who actually cares about her husband should be sleeping with the pastor's son. But that just goes to show you how the game works. Listen, man. You're going to be in situations in life like this that are going to be hard to deal with. All right. You're going to love a lady. You're going to love a person. You're going to do everything for that person. And that person is not going to respect you. And again, you know, you might think you have a friend. You might think that friend loves you. And really what they want to do is screw each other. And what you have to do is understand that life goes on. It happened to me before. I had a friend. I found out behind my back. He was Popping the cheeks up of my girlfriend, who then was my ex-girlfriend. And I had no idea that behind my back, he was telling her, you know, whatever I was feeling about her in confidence, and then going back and telling her what I was saying. And you know what? Neither one of them had no good luck anyway. She's still broke to this day, and he's broke to this day. But you know what? It could have went all together differently if I would have reacted differently. I could have ended up hurt, or I could have ended up in jail, or could have ended up dead. Really what the case is, they deserve each other. So you already got the divorce. She's already gone. Where There's no need to confront the guy, all right? The guy already knew what he did was wrong. Let her have him. Remove yourself from that church. Thank them for their time. But don't put yourself in a toxic situation where you got to see the same church and the same pastor and the son that took your wife. I don't agree with that. And this is a young man. I think he had either three kids or the story says five kids. And it looks like, you know, he was a, a, a promising youth pastor wanting to do the right thing. And I'm not trying to say that anybody is perfect, but yo, this young man had a lot of potential and it was taken away just because the other dude didn't want to fight. So you're going to take somebody's wife and then get punched in the face and then go and shoot somebody like a coward. That's how it goes. And black men need to understand who is the real person causing all of this. I'm going to tell you what the thing is. The lady is going to go scot-free. She didn't do anything. She will go and do the same thing again to somebody else. And these two guys have lost their lives. 
Brothers got to be smart. Understand that it's more efficient to see. Understand that people gonna let you down. But what you should never do is let yourself down. Don't ever, 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 ever let yourself down, bro. I, I, I'm, I'm pleading with you guys. Don't do it. Don't let them win. All right. It's, it's okay to bend but not break. These chicks are gonna let you down sometimes, man. A lot of times, your friends let you down. That's what life's about, being let down. People being shady, people being liars. That's how it works, bro. But as long as you don't let yourself down, you can get over anything, anything. So guys, what do you think it's your boy, Shirley Jackson? Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Appreciate you for all you just heard the bell, bro.